Solid bags are an amazing tactic all year round, but I do absolutely love them in the autumn, I mean, in the winter, when yeah, the carp quite often are feeding on naturals or dying naturals and little bits. My actual solid bag rig that I use isn't actually that popular inside of solid bags. For some reason, fantastically popular with leg clips or helicopter rigs. Inside a solid bag, it's really a forgotten method and I'm using a Ronnie rig inside a solid bag. Absolutely fantastic cooker, flips and turns really well. They also use a pop-up inside a solid bag as well. And it's almost like that little cherry on top of the little halo of pellet. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I tie the actual rig and then how I tie the solid bag itself. So in terms of the actual material that I'm using for my Ronnie rig, for my solid bag, this might seem a little bit overkill, but I am using 30 pound sinking braid and this is real line. Uh, the reason why, yeah, it's just really cost effective. Obviously I've got loads there. Think of how many rigs I can tie. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. Uh, take around about eight to nine inches to begin with. When you are obviously using a solid bag, it does have to be uncoated braid because obviously you are folding all the material inside a solid bag itself. You're then just gonna take your size 11 Ronnie swivel. Just gonna put your braid through your Ronnie swivel. And then this is just going to be a five turn grinner knot. Find your tag end, don't over tighten it. Yeah, and then just tighten that down. Trim off the tag. These scissors are absolutely fantastic. Super, super sharp uh, for braid. And the actual length of the rig, talking around about that length, so four inches, four and a half inches, nothing too long. And this is just gonna be tied with a figure of eight loop. Again, just tighten the knot. Then after that, it's time to add your hook. Now the actual hooks that I'm using are slightly different than what I would use if I was putting this on a leg clip, which I have obviously done in a previous video. Yeah, and I'm using the wide gate hooks. Just a standard hook, not the excess version. And again, this is, a, is in a size four. The slightly smaller than a clinger uh, and the slightly lighter as well, which is really important for a reason which I'll show you in a minute. Um, also as well, how I'm actually attaching this, I'm not using a kicker. I am using shrink tube as well. Just uh, cut a small amount off. And then actually what you can do to make this easier, so rather than going through the point, which can be a nightmare, if you just go onto the back of that hook and then put it onto the hook of your swivel and then just push that over, it's much easier. So the reason why I'm using shrink tube is because I'm compressing that bag down a lot. The last thing I want is for the kicker to be moving about inside that bag as you're compressing it down. The, uh, the shrink tube is a lot stiffer uh, and you're obviously guaranteed that that's not gonna move either. So just use a lighter, just to obviously shrink that down. And then as it's sort of getting harder, I just like to manipulate that slightly so it's really aggressive. There we go. And from there, it's just a case of putting on your micro ring swivel for your bait, and then your hook bead. Like last time, the actual position of this hook bead is crucial. I like that in line with this one, just sort of slightly above the barb. Again, just so it pop, pops up nice and low. And then the final thing that I'll do with the rig, just in the middle of the rig, this isn't to hold the bait down at all. Again, it just makes it easier because it folds into the bag nicely. I'll just put a little bit of putty on the middle of the actual rig itself. Now you don't need loads for this, less is certainly more. As I said, it's not to pin the hook bait down. Sorry, it's not to pin the hook bait down at all. It's just literally to, yeah, just to make it easier to put it inside the bag. So that's the actual finished rig. It's now time to attach it to a bag stem. So the bag stems that I'm using just are the uh, QC ones. These are great, they're really stiff, really easy to obviously use inside a bag. You can use them with tubing, 
the end, obviously tie it directly to that bag. So the next thing that you'll need is just again, another tiny, tiny bit of shrink tube. You're talking around about two mil. Just put that onto your actual hut length. Put that onto the quick change link. Push your tubing up and then you're just going to steam that down. Okay and then the size of the lead, I do like quite a big lead inside, um, yeah inside of solid bags this is a three and a half ounce flat pair, it's obviously not going to move about at all. So just slide that on and then next up is the hut bait which is a really really important choice for me. So the actual hut bait that I'm using, these are 12 mil pop-ups. And the great thing about these is that they don't re require any putty on the rig whatsoever. So when you put these on, it critically balances itself, which is really important for a solid bag because they are bit fishing. They're sort of not, not sucking very hard as such. So that rig, because it's critically balanced, as soon as they suck into those pellets, it's just gonna fly into the fish's mouth straight away. So let's get that hook bait on. Again, I'm just using floss for this. Take a little bit of floss. Thread that through your little micro rig swivel. Again, using a braided baiting needle, thread that on. Let's plug that down with a lighter. And that is basically the, the rig itself. So before I actually tie the rig, I would just quickly check that in the margin to check that it is, of course, critically balanced and that I want a nice sort of natural movement down with that rig sat onto the bottom of the lake bed. I don't want it wafting around or anything, um, but yeah, nicely critically balanced. And that is just gonna sit on top of the solid bag like so.